Xbox 2024 lineup has been unveiled, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. We're going to go over it today. We're going to take a look at it. The secrets, the leaks, all exposed here over at XboxEra.com where they put together everything that's known about 2024. They also talk about all the announced projects here. We're going to discuss how these new titles shape the future of Xbox, if any of these upcoming games has the potential to redefine their genre and why, and then what the overall lineup looks like. Is the diversity here enough with Xbox games to cater to all types of gamers? And that's what Xbox ultimately needs, uh, as well as these AAA, excuse me, these AAA Huge titles like what we got this year with a Starfield, for instance, or a Forza Motorsport, et cetera, et cetera. So again, XboxEra.com. Go check them out. Go check out this uh, Xbox roadmap here. They did a fantastic job. And let's go through these games. First up is Aura History Untold. Now, if you don't know about Aura, there's not really been any gameplay trailers of this yet. We've only really seen CGI story unveiled here. This is basically a civilization Esque game. This to me looks like what it's going to be is a merge between a civilization and like a Starcraft where you're you're able to control individual units much more than just like you have the ability of both individual aspects of a city versus entire cities. Um, it is a nation builder. This is veterans uh, who did Ashes of the Singularity. If you don't know about Ashes of the Singularity, it's a fantastic real-time strategy game. What I liked about Ashes of the Singularity is they changed up the economy in real-time strategy games. So in Ashes of the Singularity, you capture key points, and that's your economy, essentially, versus like a StarCraft where you're mining different resources. There's three different resources, so you got to balance what you're mining, how quickly you're mining. you got to balance your army versus your builders, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So here's what they say. Build a nation and lead your people throughout history to a pinnacle of human achievement as you explore new lands, develop arts and culture, conduct diplomacy, and go head to head with your rivals to prove you are the greatest ruler ever known. It's your world now. Xbox Era says, led by a team of strategy veterans at Oxide Games, the folks behind Ashes of the Singularity, they claim Aura will be the next evolution of turn-based strategy. We'll find out in 2024 if they're right. Now, this to me has the potential to be a game, you know, redefining this genre. Again, to me, it looks like they're kind of going more granular with like what's what a civilization game does. And if Ashes of the Singularity is any peek in at what Aura History Untold will be, I think I think they did redefine the genre with Ashes of the Singularity. They had this new take. It was fresh. I loved it. A lot of fun. The graphics were really good, um, especially for a real-time strategy. There you go. Aura History Untold. We're getting that in 2024. Solid. I think this is probably targeted more to your Game Pass PC gamers here, but I will be dub jumping in either way. We've then got Towerborn, and I'm not going to lie. Towerborn is is. It just doesn't look like it's for me. I'm not super excited about Towerborn. I think it's fantastic. The beautiful thing about Game Pass and about Xbox's business model here is that it doesn't have to appeal to me. It doesn't have to appeal to everybody. Um, but this is basically a side-scrolling Castle Crashers style game. Xbox era says if you're looking for something that scratches that castle, castle crashers itch, but with added depth, player customization and incredible combat, you'd be wise to keep an eye on Towerborn. We got to try this out in person at Gamescom this year, and we can't wait to play more. Now, there are gameplay videos of this. Go check it out if it's something you'd be interested in. I will say I do like the artwork. It's very vibrant, um, very hand-drawn-esque, you know, very anime, not anime, anime is the right, cell shade is probably a better word, but it does look beautiful. I'm just not sure this is for me, so it's not one that I'm particularly excited about, but many people, if you're a Castle Crashers fan, this may be one that's for you. Of course, we have more from Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator is the flight simulation game. It's the simulation game of our generation, of the generation. It is, it is top of its class absolutely hands down here's what xbox era had to say about it the reboot of the reboot of microsoft flight simulator was a triumph for the genre in 2020 bringing the entire planet to life with technology and incredible game engine while it's not for everyone simulator fans are sure in for a treat when microsoft flight simulator takes to the skies in 2024 here's the thing if you don't think it's for you though excuse me i would highly recommend checking it out because you may not know 
I think it does actually have an entry. I think it has a more forgiving entry level than it's ever had before. I think it holds your hand really well at the beginning and ex- explaining to you how to fly, stuff like that. And there is nothing funner than going to your local city and flying by your house or flying you know, for instance, we flew through Vegas at nighttime. It's beautiful. We also flew through the Grand Canyon. Beautiful. We did Niagara Falls one time. Uh, my cousin, my brother, and myself, and just a lot of fun. Microsoft Flight Simulator, the game. It's going to be ex- exciting to see what they continue to do, how they continue to build upon this experience here in 2024. And here we go. Now we're getting to the big boys here. We've got Avowed. I am extremely excited for avowed i think this is probably one of the biggest hyped titles at the moment for xbox it's from obsidian obsidian did the original fallouts they've got a fantastic pedigree and when you look at avowed what we know and see so far you see this fantasy world you see magic you see swords and it looks like it is coming from the it is in the same world of um pillars of eternity So very Dungeons and Dragons esque style world. And I could again, I could not be more excited. I think this could be one of the big power hitters for Xbox in 2024. Here's what Xbox era has to say. Obsidian are true masters of the craft when it comes to Western RPGs and avowed looks to continue that trend. Yes, it does set in the same game universe as pillars of eternity. Players can expect plenty of incredible quests, magic and mystery when avowed launches at some point in 2024. I'm very excited. This was this was uh, one of the first trailers uh teaser trailers that we got where from xbox where it was like yes that's the game that's the game i want to see what is this game and it's avowed um again i i'm thinking to myself if you could mix imagine mixing like a fallout og fallout uh you know fallout 3 fallout new vegas with skyrim And this may be what you get with Pillars of Eternity in a Pillars of Eternity world that's just fully fleshed out. Very, very excited. Then, of course, you've got Senua Saga. And I think we're actually going to see a shift here in Senua Saga. Some people you either loved or or you were meh about this game because it is it is basically a puzzle game. The first Hellblade. I think the second Hellblade is going much more action. It looks like I think it's going much more God of War esque. At least it looks like it. I'll tell you what. The graphics are definitely leveled up. And this was a critically acclaimed game when it dropped the first edition of Hellblade from Ninja Theory. And at the time, this was this dropped exclusively on PlayStation at the time. And then it eventually came out on Xbox. How the tables have turned here in 2024. Xbox era says this sequel to Hellblade has been a long time coming, having been first revealed alongside the Xbox Series X at the Game Awards in 2019. We've seen plenty of incredible footage since then, and we can finally look forward to getting our hands on on the game in 2024. I think this this and Avowed are going to be the two big boys this year for Microsoft. I cannot wait. Um and I think we're I think we're going a little more action, less puzzle. Th- let me tell you this. I would highly recommend the game still stands up really well. Hellblade the first one. Go jump in. It does stuff. It tells a story through sound while you're playing. And she's basically crazy. And you hear you hear what it's like to suffer from the ailment that she has, the mental illness that she has in your head uh, through headphones. You got to play this game with headphones. It's unique. It's fun. Um, Number two does not look like it's going to disappoint. Looks absolutely gorgeous, serious, gritty, um, and very, very exciting. Last but not least, then this is crazy cool to think about. Call of Duty. That's right, Call of Duty. Uh, With Activision Blizzard acquisition, this is just going to be the norm for Xbox, which is crazy. Again, uh, Call of Duty, we've got one coming. This is the first one from Treyarch. Now, Treyarch is... There's three studios that do the Call of Duties and the Call of Duties. (laughs) There's three studios that do the Call of Duties, and they rotate how they do them. This is the first call of duty that's had more than four years in development cycle. Uh, it's not yet been announced yet. Uh, it is a guaranteed, um, Microsoft first party release because of the acquisition blizzard King acquisition here. Um, here's what Xbox era has to says, has to say, sorry, I can't, I can't talk. I'm so excited. Xbox era says reporting from our friends at windows central, 
suggests that this year's Call of Duty game will be titled titled Black Ops Gulf War with a heavy focus on the CIA and the conflict in Iraq, the conflict in Iraq with Operation Desert Storm. Again, it is Treyarch. It's four plus years. Now, it's a first party title from from Microsoft now because they own Activision Blizzard. It's going to be on all platforms, but it's going to be free on Game Pass or included in Game Pass rather. And this is a huge selling point, a huge selling point. And I think this, if done right, if if it holds up to past titles of Call of Duty, this is a subscription getter for Xbox. And and there you go. So of the games where we have dates here, I would say this is very strong. Aura is kind of a question mark. Towerborn is 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 good if that's what you're into. Again, Aura is kind of a question mark. I think Aura is is targeted towards a certain type of player, a gamer, a turn-based strategy uh, gamer. Microsoft Flight Simulator, fantastic, top of its class. These bottom three here, Avowed, Senua Saga, and Call of Duty are the three powerhouses this year that we can look forward to. I think these are the biggest ones here. Um, we have all these announced projects here as well. I mean, just look at this. Look at these announced projects. Very, very exciting. Outer Worlds 2, again, from Obsidian. The first Outer Worlds was really good. In fact, I should go back and replay that again. We've got another State of Decay coming. The second State of Decay was fantastic. Indiana Jones, another Gears. But look at this bottom list here. Blade, OD, and Elder Scrolls 6. Just having those three on your list. Let's pretend you had nothing else up here. You had um, 4, 8, 12. You didn't have these 12 games up here. You just had these bottom three. It would still be huge, but the amount of games here being worked on by Xbox, Fable, Perfect Dark, <sighs> Age of Mythology, Clockwork Revolution looks really cool as well. It's mind blowing. We're in this new age of gaming in this new age of Xbox that as an Xbox gamer, we've not seen in a decade, over a decade. We may never have seen this before. I mean, even the 360 era did not have this. They had they were aggressive and they went at it and they had success, but they didn't have what this what Xbox now has today with the amount of first party titles coming. So 2024 promised to be huge. Again, these aren't games coming out in 2024. These are just announced projects that we know about. Um, shout out to Xbox era on this list. Absolutely huge. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these three are the power hitters in uh, Avowed, Senua, and Call of Duty? I think they are. I think um, particularly Avowed is the one that I'm probably most looking forward to because it's a new IP. It's Obsidian Entertainment. We know what they can do. We've seen their pedigree. And I love fantasy games. I mean, that's my favorite my favorite um, genre of book, of story. Cannot be more excited about it. So, Let's get into some questions here. How will these new titles shape the future of Xbox and its position in the console wars? I mean, I think in the console wars, in the there's really not console wars anymore. It's going to be subscription wars. I mean, that's just the reality. That it's it's inevitable. But I think I think 2024 just if this drops, 2024 is a just adds a very strong value proposition and a very strong library to Xbox. I think it just further solidifies the desire, the value for players to have game pass, whether you've got game pass on PC, whether you got game pass on console or you've got game pass ultimate and you have it on both. The value absolutely is there. And this just triple down, triple down, triple down, triple downs. (laughs) <laughs> this just it enhances that value tenfold in my mind. So which of these upcoming games has the potential to redefine its genre and why? I think for me, it's right here. Aura History Untold. Because I know I played Ashes of the Singularity. I know what, what they did with real-time strategy. It's By the way, Ashes of the Singularity you can get on Steam for pretty cheap sometimes. And it's still... Still hopping, still fantastic. Go check it out. I know what they did with that. They're saying that this is going to change, you know, the civilization. We're using civilization because it's the biggest in in the space. It's going to change the civilization style game. We did have Humankind that dropped, which was a solid entry, but it wasn't genre redefining. So if this could make it genre redefining, 
shift it in a way that makes it more maybe faster because civilization games are just like monopoly it takes forever to go through they're very menu heavy menu centric if you could speed those up speed that up speed up the multiplayer aspect of it and then i don't know i don't know what they're thinking of here but from what i see i'm guessing it's more more granular control of Items like inside your city, items inside your your military units, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Regardless, if they could do that, I think this game, for genre defining, it's this game. I think this game has the most potential to redefine its genre. Absolutely, Ara. I mean, Flight Simulator owns the genre, so that's that's kind of unfair. Same with Sen- Senua Saga. What, what I mean, what would you call this? Action adventure puzzle like. No other game has really done what it's done with audio and the audio storytelling here. And, and it's psycho. I believe it's psychosis that they're trying to simulate. And so it's kind of in a genre of its own. I mean, Call of Duty is, is created, a, you know, its whole genre, multiplayer genre, especially at the time. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with my answer here. Ara History Untold. I think so. What do you guys think? What do you think of these upcoming games as the potential to redefine its genre? Let me know in the comments below. Last question. How does the diversity of the Xbox game lineup cater to different types of gamers? I mean, I think we have everything here. We've got strategy. We've got multiplayer, side-scrolling multiplayer, almost um, sounds like character customization and stuff in there. Sounds like it's pretty deep. You've got a simulation game. You've got an adventure Western RPG here. You've got... Again, I don't know how to define Senua Saga, a puzzler, also a action adventure game um, here with Senua Saga. And then you've got a first person shooter. That's and that's not even counting the announced project here. I mean, you've got everything here in the announced project. But I think you've got one from each of the major genres here inside uh, or most of the major genres inside of 2024 dropping. And keep in mind, I think we're going to get one or two surprise, like a hi-fi rush that just surprise dropped. I think that's going to become the norm for Xbox. So very, very exciting. I think I think the diversity is there. I think that's the benefit of Game Pass is that you don't need AAA titles to be dropping all of the time. You need diversity of titles to be dropping all the time. That's the difference because you need to appeal to as broad of an audience as possible and have something in there for everyone. And I think just scrolling through this list, you've definitely got that for sure. What do you guys think, though? Do you think uh, do you think the diversity is there for Game Pass? What of these titles are you most excited for? Is there something that we're missing? Is there something that Xbox era missed? Let me know in the comments below. Welcome back. It's 2024, everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you like what we're doing here. My name is X1 The Gamer. We do videos like this daily, Monday through Friday, just talking about games, Xbox, hanging out. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.